Hello everyone and welcome to my video. I'm David from the Hootareview.com team. Today, I will introduce to you a brand new product. First, please check my full review in the description below of this video. I provide all the information about this new product. What exactly is this product? Outstanding features, how to use it in detail, and my experience. Who should buy this product? How to apply this product in your daily work and make money from it. Regarding the price policy, the upsells, that the seller provides in this sale. Is there an all-in-one bundle offer? My discount codes will save you a lot of money, and especially, as my team's gratitude to the readers, as well as to those who purchase through my website, or through this video, I have a lot of attractive and valuable bonuses for you. Check them out at the end of the product review on my website hootareview.com by following the link in the description. I am sure you will not be disappointed with those bonuses and they will help you increase the profits you earn. Be sure to send me a message to email hootareviewbonus at gmail.com and I will send them to you within 24 hours. Next, let's explore this product. Now let's check out the image generator that comes built into GPT Dash. We'll click on the image generator and it's simply a matter of telling the engine what kind of images you would like. So in one of our examples earlier, we were creating uh, video scripts and it kept on saying that we wanted to have uh, you know, background pictures or videos of you know, people fishing in rivers and things like that. So let's say we want a watercolor style painting of an angler fly fishing in a river in Colorado. That's very specific. If they can come up with that, I'm going to be impressed. And it's also going to be something that we can definitely use because um, it would be perfect for some of those video scripts that we were generating earlier. And you know what? All three of these images that it generated for us look pretty good. I mean, they all look, they're definitely an angler fly fishing in a river, and they all look like they could uh, possibly be Colorado. Um, you know, just a little tip, I found that, uh, you know, sometimes when you're generating images of people, you know, of humans, if you go for a, a real photographic look, uh, sometimes they don't turn out the best uh, using the AI generators uh, yet. Um, you, you can, they, they turn out okay, but they don't always turn out the best. And so sometimes if you go for a little more of an artistic look, like something with like a painting uh, feel to it, it'll just really look nice. And so if we wanted to save one of these, I can just click on it and then click this arrow over here. And then we can either share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, pin it or download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that image. And depending on your browser settings, it might actually just download the large size of it in the browser, in which case I can then go uh, save the image as and then save it. Otherwise, it's possible that it may have just automatically saved it to your hard drive when you first click that. And I could go back and I could, uh, you know, save each of these individually if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and generate another image. You know, maybe uh, instead of the fisherman, uh, you know, another thing that those video scripts we're asking for were some, some close-ups, right? So maybe something like, uh, click on that again, something like a, a brook trout, right? So let's say a painting of a brook trout in the style of Monet, all right? I'm, I'm choosing Monet because it's an impressionist artist that um, many of us um, around the world are familiar with, one of the most renowned uh, impressionists of all time. And yes, I would say that these results are indeed quite impressionistic. So if I wanted to grab one of these, again, I could enlarge it, click the arrow, and download it to my hard drive. All right, let's see. I actually, I forgot that I could simply uh, click the clear button without having to refresh the page. So that's what I'll do this time. What if I wanted to say a photo of a road trout? Let's just see how it does with a photo of a brook trout. Uh, you know, not bad, right? So I would say, you know, I'd probably give it a B minus on some of these. Obviously we can take a closer look and it might look a little better. Um, these are definitely usable images, but you know, that's why I, sometimes I like to use the more of an artistic approach because it just creates something more beautiful that I like to use. Um, and let's see, just to prove that, uh, you know, we're not just dealing with fish here. We can create anything about anything. Let's do something like 
a futuristic detailed image of a robot making money just something totally different since we've been using fish for all of our examples I don't want you to think that you know GPT dash was like designed around the fishing niche or anything like that that, that would be very far from the truth um, it's just what I've been using for this these examples so here we go futuristic images of a robot making money there you go came up with three of them uh, pretty decent I think these are you know something that you could use you know maybe on a, a sales page about you know using AI to make money for example so uh, definitely capable of creating a wide variety of content with these image generators as well and I'll throw in a, a quick tip here about uh, one way that you can monetize the images that you generate with our dashboard and that is to use a platform like Zazzle that offers print-on-demand products um, you know I just did a quick search for brook trout and you can see there's a ton of different products that you know people are selling with brook trout images but you know the ones that we generated in just a few seconds using the dashboard using AI were uh, I think more unique and uh, prettier than a lot of these ones that are being sold right now on Zazzle and of course you know that's just one example the sky's the limit I mean, you can do this for you know any niche any thing any object any animal whatever it is that you want to to create an image of um, you can do that as long as it's not something inappropriate um, the AI engines actually won't let you or at least they'll try to not let you create pictures of uh, inappropriate things but uh, as long as it's something appropriate you, know, you can take it and sell it on a site like this and create all kinds of cool products out of it and again I mean you have the rights to do that because it's a unique image that was created just for you you own it